If you are watching this, it means that you have received a message from the leaders of your country saying that fets are banned. <laughs> that carnival is cancelled. That now go up. <laughs> that will never happen. You will never live to see that. Happen. Psych! Coronavirus! But never fear. Fet man is here. Damn, I was wanting to do that so badly. Hey. It's your boy was you don't know. Alright, so guys, check it. Even though the coronavirus has actually ripped carnival from our hearts and everything that we know and love, guys, we cannot afford to forget how to fit. Because the corona will pass. It will go, guys. Trust me, it will pass. And we're gonna be fetting again. You don't wanna go into a fet and wondering, what am I supposed to do here? I'm seeing bumper. What do I do? Do I run? Do, do, do I do social distancing? None fetters. Get your book and your pencils, guys. This is the Ten Commandments of Fet. Presenting these commandments is the great, the most honorable, Noses, the disciple of Fet. These are the Ten Commandments of Fet. These commandments must be kept whenever you are in a fet or a carnival. Disobey these commandments and you shall be horned. I mean, scorned. Commandment number one. Thou shalt knoweth soca music. Soca music. Spelt S O C A, not S O C C E R. No. Thou shalt knoweth soca music before going into a fet. Let's be realistic. Not everybody likes soca. Are you dumb? But if you're gonna go to a fet or in going to carnival, you, you have to know the difference between soca and dancehall before going into a fet, guys. YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, wherever is your best bet right now. This is a fact. There are hundreds of thousands of soca mixes that you can listen to and know at least three soca songs. And guess what, guys? It's free. Free. Free, free, free. Yeah. Before you go on the road or in a fet, at least know the difference between groovy soca, the deanery segment, and power soca. You don't do Come, let me do it today. in a groovy soca. You don't do this do me a favor. in power soca. You don't do this Press off your one drop. in deanery segment. Technically, you don't do this at all. <laughs> know your soca. Commandment. Few. Thou shalt drink it until thine identity is unknown. To be honest, most times soca is enjoyed when you're under the influence. Some persons drink, some persons smoke, some persons drink and smoke. The soca culture encourages drinking because what is a liver, right? Who needs a liver? What? We drink until we're drunk and we do not know our names afterwards and we fit right. Things will get broken and damaged if you are drunk and you know exactly how to fit. However, Damn drunk people. if you drink too much and you decide to ruin the experience for the next person, that, my friend, is a problem. You'll be kicked out of the fit and you'll be deemed as a waste man. Not waste man. But waste man. Commandment number three. Thou shalt fet with a crew. Soka is not about you. Come on guys. What is fetting if you're fetting alone? The soca culture actually encourages fetting in groups. The family vibe. So why would you go to a fet on your own or fet by yourself? That makes no sense. Find your squad. Find your crew. Find somebody that has some relation to you. If it's the Jamaicans, fet with the Jamaicans. If it's the Trinis, fet with the Trinis. The Grenadians. Oh my god, the Grenadians are amazing. Walk inside our body. Do Lucian, the Vinces. Or anybody, or if you have a soca group, fet with them. Liquor is so much cheaper as a group. Transportation is so much easier as a group. Imagine going to a fet alone, buying drinks for yourself and drinking alone. Then going in your car alone and going home alone. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That's making me cringe, bruv. Nah, don't fet alone. Next. Commandment number four. Thou shalt not enter a fet or carnival without credit Minutes or data plan on your phone. Guys, face it, it's so convenient being able to just post a picture or a video of you whining or your friend whining or something. But here's what I'm talking about right now. The most important part of fetting is knowing that you have service, data, or whatever you call it in your country, minutes, credit, whatever. Make sure you have it on your phone, guys. Because communication with your crew is crucial. 
man. Yo, we, we gotta copyright some of this, some of these phrases, man. These are bars, bro. <laughs> Communication with your crew is crucial. You, you, you get me? You get it? Cause crew. Oh my God! Wow! Trust me, carnival in whichever country is by far one of the biggest and largest gatherings in the world. Even in your own country, you can get lost. In another country, you can definitely get lost. But you have minutes on your phone. And your phone is, thank goodness, not stolen. You can easily just text your friend or call your friend. I'm like, yo, dog. Yo. Where you there? Tell me where you there, me I'll forward to you. Yo, I'm there with the speaker over there, sir. Speaker? Yeah, man. The speaker on the left. Your left? No, man, your left. My right? No, 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 your left. Yo, me not see you in the What on it? No, my left now. Oh, my forward. Communication is key. Commandment number five. Thou shalt not trieth to receiveth a carnival body days before carnival. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm tired of this one because every year carnival season is coming around and you know it guys It happens every year at least almost every month of the year and trust me guys. I hate it I hate it so much. I'm gonna speak on Jamaica in particular because hey, I'm from Jamaica I hate it so much when we know we all know that carnival is in April so Let's say it's April 16. Why? 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 Are you going to go to the gym three days before, one week before, and start to binge gymming? Binge gymming is not healthy, guys. Come on. You can't just walk into the gym and get packs just like that, or walk into the gym and get butt, or get waistline, or chest, or arms, or something. It doesn't work like that, guys. Come on. Your body will be sore and the whole purpose of fetting will be defeated. Imagine, you go to the gym the day before fetting, then go fet, and that, that, that the legs you started to do because you wanna get your legs toned up? Yeah. Y'all been known for the It makes no sense. But if you decide to go to the gym and prepare for carnival, this is what you should be doing. Work on stamina. Work on your core. <laughs> Work on bicep. You gotta be able to lift some of these girls, bro, if you're gonna be running with them or you're gonna be whining them. Because if you're lifting, bro, you gotta make sure that you can whine and have them in your hand. Whine and have them in your hand. Work on your back. Because, bruh, some of these girls, they got some thick thighs, bro. They got some thick thighs. You can't just expect that you see a thick ass. You can get me. You see a roly poly, bro. And you decide that, oh, I am Superman. I know. One, two, three, let's go. And you decide that you are gonna just lift her up. Bro, your back will be done. And once it's done, it is done. She will walk away and you will look like a idiot. Work on your legs because girls like when you can whine down low. Trust me. Because if you whining, bro, no girl is staying right there with you, fam. They're gonna go down. Commandment number six. Thou shalt not leave thine house without money or drinks or water. Okay, this one annoys me. Don't come to the fete if you don't have no money. That makes no sense. You can't sponge pump people. You cannot come to the fete without liquor money. Because it makes more sense to bring enough money, even if you don't have enough money for yourself. Bring enough money that your crew can pool all the money together and you all can buy drinks. It's annoying when you come to a fete and you have the whole crew and you expect someone to buy drinks for you. No. And ladies, it's annoying. Trust me, I know that I know some ladies like to go to bars and stuff and because you look good, some guy buy you a drink. When it comes to fetting, nah, we don't business about that. Mm -mm. Bring your own money or bring your own bottle. Come with your money and we pull it together and we literally will buy drinks together. So don't know where I come from General Foods with the largest bottle of Ray and Nephew. It's much cheaper that way. But if you come with a two long hand bucket empty, that not cute. This is the seventh commandment and it shall be kept. 
Thou shalt not move a muscle in thine body when the song Palance is being played. Okay, don't get me wrong guys. I have nothing against the artists for this song at all. No, I, I believe that every single soca artist, if you're small or if you're big time, I don't care. No love right there because we represent everybody in the Caribbean and we represent and we love each other. You get me? I don't care who you are. The respect is there. Alright? Get that out of the way. However, DJs, you are the ones responsible for this shit. I am sick and tired of hearing Palance play in a party and all we do is just do the same exact thing all the time. Palance is a part of the top five songs that you will only hear in a dancehall party. It's also a part of the top five songs you'll hear in a soca party in Jamaica that plays 98% dancehall in Jamaica. I don't know about any other place. This song is overused, overplayed. You have so many other power soakers that you can play. Why do you play that one song so many times? Bala, bala. There's so many other songs. Look, look at Run With It. There's Pandemonium. There's Top Striker. I don't, I don't want to list out all of them, man. But come on, there's so many songs for you to play. And let's say the crowd doesn't know it. Teach them. This is a soca party, right? Play soca, not just Lucy, Palance, Monster Wino. Hmm. Stop playing Palance for maybe four, five, ten years from now. And then when someone plays it, I'm going to be like, oh my god. Do do you know this song? I remember when I was fitting back in the day, I remember this song was banned. But this song sounds like fire right now because it's not overused anymore. I can now actually, I can plant now. Are you ready, bruv? Are, are you ready, bruv? Let's go. <laughs> Commandment number eight. Thou shalt support the arch or the back of thine friend. There's a thing called back support and Arch assist. Fellas, if your brother is getting a wine and the girl is throwing it back way too hard, look out for the signs and support him. Sign number one, he moving backwards involuntarily. Number two, she going down low and your boy can't keep up. Your boy probably wearing jeans pants in a fet. Why, 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 would you, why would you wear jeans pants in a fet? I don't understand it. Jeans shorts? Yes, but jeans pants, bro, and you know that thing can't bend. You can't bend your knee, fam. Don't take up a thick girl who can whine and decide to go, d oh my God. I would like you to try a Lucian girl or a Vinci girl and have them whine down low. Let's see if you can actually survive those jeans. If those jeans do not tear, they are not Vinci or Lucian. I guarantee that. Number three, if his cup of liquor spills, while being wined. That's a no-no. Never spill liquor. And if the liquor gets spilled, help him. And ladies, of course, if you see your girl whining and arching her back and that man behind her doing some things around there fam, all you have to do, make sure that all cups, all purses, out of her hand. Anything she's holding, take it out of her hand. If she needs help, stand in front of her. Hold her hands if you need to. But let that arch be an arch. Not a flat back, but an arch. This is called arch assist. Give her a stable footing. Stand in front of her. Do hold on to your waist or hold on to your arms. Because if that man jamming, if he jamming, he will jam her and she goes so. You don't want that. You gotta be that wall in front of your friend. Make sure she don't drop. Sometimes we don't want the girls to go all the way touching the floor. Because we need that arch. We want she, she whine. We don't want she just bend over and take it. We want to know that when we whine in her, she can take it. When we start to jamming, she can take it. Support your girl them. Trust me. Because them will go so. And the man will go so. Commandment number nine. Thou shalt not, not walk in between a wine. Of all the commandments, please, I am begging you, honor this one the most. I hate, and when I say I hate, in Jamaica we'll say, me eat. Yes, eat. When me a wine girl and smaddy decide to walk in between. My ways and fear bumper it can't work. I really, really hate whenever I'm trying to whine a girl and someone decides to walk in between the wine. Imagine 
You in a groovy soaker. You whining. You whining that girl and she whining, but she, oh my God, she throwing it back fam. You go down low. And then out of nowhere. Sorry, 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 excuse me. Start, excuse me there, sorry, sorry, sorry. Imagine the girl spot you from behind, you know, and you whining her. Oh Lord, you whining that girl. You you whining her like you want to give her children, like you know she have a man and you're trying to thief her from her man. You you whining her like as if you know say she is your next baby mother. That girl feels somebody brush past her waist and she probably think it's you. And as she walks away, she gives to some other man. And you left stand up there like a what? Idiot. Like a stupid man. There's no room to walk. Only space to jam. Can we copyright that? No? No, oh, that's our that's our that song? No room to park. Right. Yeah, right, 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 right. Do not try to pass behind a man who is walking. He is walking a girl. Whining for his life right now. He's whining for that phone number, whining for that baby mother position, and he's whining just to know that he can leave with her for the night. Or he could just be whining for whining's sake. But you decide to walk behind him. Now, here's the problem now. Here's where many problems can come up. Problem number one. You whine him and you brush cross him bottom and trust me, he is so homophobic that immediately he does this all oh lot and she gone that way. And then when he when she gone that way and realized that this man can whine, all of those aspirations are gone. Commandment number 10. Thou shalt dismiss thy presence from the area of fitting when power segment has commenced. In other words, Move out of the way. Some persons actually come into a fit, especially in the power segment, just to take up space. You know that you are not going to be fitting in the power segment. Why are you standing up in my way? And when I tell you to move, you catch feelings. No. Let me tell you a story. In Jamaica, there's a party called Night Carnival, hosted by Fet Republic. Big up on yourself. If you're watching this and you remember this event, just try to remember the event where I, I, I was wearing that, um, that construction helmet. And I think I was the only one wearing a construction helmet because I decided to be a walker man for that night. I remember there's a particular song that was played at that event. It was Run With It. And of course, the lyrics of the song tells you, pick up something and start to run with it. Now, there was a particular young lady. I think she attends the University of the West Indies, Mona. I remember her wearing a pink costume. It wasn't the full costume, but it looked like it was the bodysuit, the pink bodysuit. And she's quite fair-skinned, light-skinned, of course. And she was also fetting with another girl who's also brown-skinned. Miss, if you're watching this, Ayumi Ata. Anyways, so I realized that she was in the direction of where I wanted to run. So I decided to be modest, yet jab-jabby about it. So I said to her, without my voice, her response was this. I gave her the dirtiest look I could possibly give her. But when she saw that bar table, went up in the air, and I went like this, and I started to do this, and the DJ said, run, run with it. It's the quickest I saw the young lady decided to go that way when I was running towards her. My friends behind me, I am Soka and Fet J.A. with their flags were right behind me to make sure that if she did not want to move out the way for me, they made sure to hold their flag up high and move her out the way. If someone shirtless with a walker man helmet on his head looks at you and does this, what do you think this means? You think this means swipe left because we don't like you? Or swipe right? You know, what's funny is that some of these persons don't like soccer for this exact reason. If you don't like soccer, then why are you doing here? Can we copyright that? You don't like soccer. Jesus Christ, man. Mr. Ki Mr. Killer, right? Hi. I knew it came from somewhere. But the point is, 
Stop coming to fets if you know that this fet is gonna get wild. It's called a fet for a reason. You know, you, you know that the DJs are going to play power soaker. Power soaker can include water, paint, powder, the lifting of human beings and objects, parting the crowd to run. I am one man that if I decide I'm going to lead my crew through a crowd, I'm going to lead my crew through a crowd. If you want to stay right there, stay. Stay with your stupid self. Stay. Because I'm not going to do this. No! I'm going so. Because you know what? I was told that there is a mass over there. So you know what? I will be there. And if a mass is over there, then what? I'll be over there. Can we oh I see a mass over there. Let me guess. Little Nazi Antonio, yeah. I I figured. I figured, I figured, I figured, I figured. Anyways, I feel like under this commandment, there's more. Is there more noses? Commandment 10A. Thou shalt not come to a fete and not expect to be wined upon, soaked, painted, powdered, horned, scorned, etc. Tan a your yard, stay home. Don't come out to a fit if you know that you cannot take any wine and you don't want anybody whining on you or attempting to whine on you. How do you come to a juve, a juve, and not expect to be wet? You come to a juve and don't ex expect to be painted. How? 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 Juves are wet fits. It's, uh, I think, the definition for juve, if I'm correct, please correct me in the comments, but a juve is an event, a part of carnival, that's held in the breaking of day. It's basically the break of day. So it happens probably like the early morning of the, of the carnival, right? And it goes straight into carnival. But a juve involves paint, powder, water, oil. Hmm. <sighs> How can you come into a wet fit and don't expect for you to get wet? How can you come into a Okay, okay, all right, cool. Is, is, is there one more? Commandment number 10B. Thou shalt not force a woman or a man to wine or take wine. If there is a refusal of wine, move along. Catch it, not thine feelings in thine heart. It is fine to reject a wine because some girls don't like how some guys fit. Some some of them too wild, maybe they can't wine or they've observed their behavior during the party and they just don't want them to dance on them. If you know that somebody actually rejects your wine, come on guys, don't be all aggressive about it. Just move on. There's so many girls in a fit, bro. There's no fit with only one girl and hundred man. That makes no sense. That's not a fit. That's just a sausage party. Don't don't disrespect her. Don't say negative comments about her while she's walking away. Don't 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 have gestures like or move away, girl. Don't grab her up and forcefully whine on her. That's rape, sir. That's dry humped rape. Be cool about it, bro. Move on to the next. There are plenty of fish in the sea. What bun up? I'm saying. There are plenty of girls to whine in a fit. Trust me. Yeah, I think that concludes the video about the Ten Commandments of Fet. If you're a professional fetter and you know some commandments that I did not mention in this video, comment below right now. Comment below. Come on, guys. We're going to teach the young ones and we're going to teach the persons who are going to forget because of all this corona shit. So, come on, guys. Comment. Like the video. Share it to someone who did not know anything about Soka and would love to know that they've learned the Ten Commandments of Fetting. Come on, guys. You can do it. Remember, subscribe, like, share, do all that you normally do and that every YouTuber tells you to do because I'm, I'm not the first YouTuber you're watching. See, none of the things said. Right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You must see my ass over. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm actually ending the video. All right, guys. It's the end of the vlog. At them time there. So, you know what? Watch this. It's your boy, Wes. And we're done. Boom. Here endeth the reading of the commandments. Happy fitting. Join the tribe. Subscribe. Click. Click. Let's go.
Let's go.